Hello, um, I'm popping in with my Sally Callow social entrepreneur head on right now on LinkedIn. Hello, LinkedIn. Um, as you all know, I run two social enterprises, both of which work for the benefit of the ME CFS community in the UK and internationally. Now, Severe ME Day is in August. It's on the 8th of August. Um, and as I've said on other social media platforms, although I raise awareness of Severe ME. Severe ME Day is an incredibly emotive day for those with Severe ME and their loved ones um, because of the desperate nature of that end of the spectrum. And I've always been respectful of that. And I kind of felt like I was intruding a little bit. However, things are so dire right now for people with Severe ME, I'm going to do my utmost to improve the lives of those that are impacted by severe ME. Um, so this year marks the start. It's the first annual bed for severe ME uh, campaign. Now, this campaign involves five different components, and I've only really been public about two of them so far. I'm finding it very difficult to find the balancing act between what people need to know now so that they can get prepared for it, buy badges, um, get posters sorted and get staff excited um, and what needs to be private and exciting on the day. So that's why I've been kind of keeping everything quiet. Um, so first things first, you can buy your, I haven't got it on because you can't see it this far away. Um, bed for severe me badge see if i'm wearing it it just looks blurry in this lighting and i wanted you all to see how awesome it was so these badges have been available via mefoggydog.org for the past week i'm very pleased to say that they've been selling like hotcakes um, and i've just put in another order so 50 percent of the profit sorry no get this right all of the profits from these badges are being split 50-50 between Smile for ME, who send how to see, I wasn't sure how to describe it. They send smiles to people with ME. What that means is a box full of stuff that will brighten their day, let them know that they're being thought about. Um, it's kind of, I call it patient advocacy, but to be clear, that's what Smile for ME do. They're amazing. They're a small charity and they purely work for ME patients. So mostly severe ME patients who are bed bound. And the thought of a, a box to cheer them up to me is that's what I want to support. So, yeah, 50 percent goes to Smile for ME, 50 percent goes to Cure ME. ME CFS Biobank for biomedical research into the disease. Um, so buy your badge today and help me to fund those two organisations. You can buy them now, um, but obviously I want you to wear them on the 8th of August. Um, also, if you are a celebrity watching this, please do. I will send you one um, because we need these to be visible, please. The 8th of August is how you make incredibly vulnerable but invisible because they are house or bed bound, people visible. Um, so that's the badges. Then there's also a in loving memory board for people in our community to upload memories and recollections of people that we've lost who had severe ME. <clears throat> um, we all know of someone um, and I think this is your opportunity to upload a memory, possibly with a photograph. Um, it doesn't have to be something sad. It could be something that you think of in a positive way, in a, whether it was their life before they got severe ME or <clears throat> maybe, sorry, I don't know why I'm losing my voice. Apologies, it's probably pollen. Um, or it could be, it could be a sad memory. Maybe they have died from severe ME specifically. Um, it's up to you whether you want to remember their lives before ME, their resilience when they had ME, the things they were amazingly achieving when they had severe ME, that's your opportunity to use that board. But like I say, it is people that have passed away um, and had severe ME. Um, so that's that. But the, the reason I'm doing this LinkedIn thing is... Da, da, da. Um, now, I can't do much apart from talk about it to you now. I want to get people excited. 
um, because I want you to get in touch with me if you want to be involved. Now, I want businesses to allow their staff to wear bedwear, sleepwear, to work and pay two quid for the honour of doing that. I want you to help me to raise funds for ME Research and Smile for, Smile for ME. 50-50 split again. Now, I'm having the posters designed right now. They're not ready yet. And you've got to bear in mind there's only five weeks left. So I, I only gave myself 10 weeks to organise everything. So I'm doing really well, but I've got nothing to show you other than there will be posters and there is a PayPal account for you to pay money into. The reason it's not going direct to just giving is because of the 50-50 split. Um, so it's going to Emmy Foggy Dog, who are a social enterprise, our PayPal account, and then I will manually split it once all the funds are raised, and then I will announce how much we've made. So if you are a corporate, a small business, another ME organisation, whatever, community centre, if you want to hold a severe ME bed themed day, please do get each person to donate at least two quid um, and pay it into that PayPal account. Um, as I said, if you get in touch with me, I'll know how many people are interested um, and I will send you posters and awareness raising literature um, for the day because this is to raise awareness of severe ME. Unfortunately, because ME is a spectrum and because um, some people with mild ME are able to be in employment, there is this false belief that those people represent all people with ME. They don't. I don't represent all people with ME because I'm on the mild end of the spectrum. Somebody with severe ME would not be able to sit upright and talk for this amount of time or work. So this is to raise awareness of that end of the spectrum and why um, I should explain why it's called bed because uh, severe patients are mostly housebound or bedbound. Um, and they spend an awful lot of time on their beds. Their bed becomes their world. Um, it's a sanctuary. It's far, far more than a piece of furniture. Um, it's where most patients, most, sorry, I'll call them patients so that you know that it's a medical thing, but people, most people with severe ME live in their beds. Um, it's where they eat, drink, socialise in terms of with very close family, loved ones or where they might socialize online if they've got enough energy to be online um you know bed is their world so that's why i felt pajamas sleepwear the name of the whole five component campaign is bed um to raise awareness of that there are people that are bed bound for years if not decades um, and the, this whole campaign is for those people and their loved ones. So if anyone that is part of a corporate, I would be so grateful if you could get in touch and help me to be this, a thing in your workplace on the 8th of August. Um, like I say, the posters are being created and I will send you everything you need um, in time for the 8th of August. Um but yeah, so I'm, I haven't got a target, but I just want to raise as much money as possible um, and raise awareness of ME. Also, um, separate to the bed campaign, because it's a collaborative um, day with both of my social enterprises, Stripey Lightbulb are going to be doing an educational event on the 8th of August, specifically about severe ME. Um, so please do keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, sign up to either Emmy Foggy Dogs newsletters or Stripey Light Bulbs, and you will get all the information about everything that we're doing, both organisations, because it's just me. <laughs> I run both. Um, but yeah, Stripey Light Bulbs concentrating on the educational side because our training does include severe ME, but it's mostly how you can support someone in working, learning or healthcare environments to make sure they don't deteriorate to a severe level. Um, 
so yes severe me is included in our training but it's no way nearly as extensive as it could be um, and that's what our training on the 8th of august is going to be about um so please do keep your eyes peeled for that um but yeah please do i know it tends to be people with chronic illnesses that watch these videos if you are in employment please ask your employer if they could support bed for severe me um day campaign on the 8th of august um and then i can provide leaflets posters and the paypal donation thing um i need to be clear the pandemic has tripled our community before covid there were probably around 65,000 severe cases of me in the uk that's now tripled and that hasn't been reflected in government research funding we need research funding um there's a uh, quite a few uh the other two components <laughs> why did i do this i gave myself 10 weeks to do five different things so, oh, on top of what i already do and i have me this is what i mean i'm not a stereotypical person with me um please don't think that i represent all people with me because i don't that's why i try to raise a try to ra raise awareness in as many different ways as i possibly can so that you know the spectrum um people with severe me won't even be able to watch this video um anybody that's helping me with whatever aspect of bed um that i'm currently working on i'm incredibly grateful because i'm thankful for your time your uh effort but also your energy to me energy is the most valuable asset that you could possibly give me so like i say get in touch if you want more information leaflets if you want the paypal donation link um and i'd be really grateful if you want anything else from me in terms of we'd really like to learn about severe me but none of that really fits with what we do get in touch with me i'm happy to adapt to what you would prefer um so yeah get in touch thank you very much for listening and bed is coming thank you